Oh, you're finally awake. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You've probably heard that phrase so many times by now. And you're probably used to waking up tied to a chair bed. It's gotta be weird. Ever since this infection, people have been falling for you, darling. Of course, none of them can be as good for you as I am. I mean, we actually have somewhat of a history. Yeah, I know, it's good to see you again, darling. Hmm? <laughs> Untie you? Yeah, that's... that's not gonna happen. At least, not yet. You need to get adjusted here, and right now, I think you want to leave, even though I love you. Of course I love you. Well, I guess you already know that. After all, the whole world wants you. Luckily, I happen to have a secret underground bunker that no one can enter. Oh, darling, there's no need to be frightened. I know there are some scary sounds from the outside, but they can't get to you. Who's they? Well, there are the millions outside this bunker pounding, screaming, and fighting each other all to get to you. But I will never allow that to happen. You are mine, and mine alone. I love you. <sighs> I know, it's kind of weird, me saying I love you. After all, I did reject you back in high school. I am so sorry that I did that, darling. I cannot believe what I was thinking. How could I reject you, the best person in the world? Oh, no. No, no, I couldn't let you go, darling. I love you so much that I must keep you here forever. Although, I guess you've heard that a ton too. But unlike the others who captured you, I can make sure we're safe here forever. And even if I was willing to let you go, what would you do? There are millions of people outside of this bunker tearing each other apart to get you for themselves. Wouldn't you rather be with someone that you know as opposed to some random stranger? That's what I thought. You're safer here than anywhere else in the world. You don't know the safety mechanisms here. You see, no one can enter this room except for me. There's a door with a passcode on it that only I know. After that, there's another door that uses facial recognition to open it, and it only responds to my face. After that, there's another door that needs a drop of my blood to open. No one is getting to you except for me. And anyone who tries to get to you will surely regret it. If someone were to fail to pass the door's tests, then this entire bunker locks down forever, and there will be no way in or out of this room. But that's okay. If it comes to that, we have everything you need to survive and live peacefully here. You just wish things could go back to normal? Whatever for? You wouldn't be here if things were normal. In fact, weren't you the one who wanted someone to be like this for you? I guess that was one person who's long gone by now. I suppose life has been very stressful for you. One lover after another kidnapping you out of love. And then it all just happening over and over again. Seems a bit much for you to deal with. You're happy that it's at least someone you know this time? Well, I guess that is a good thing. Um, 
if you don't mind me asking, what's it been like? You know, uh, being hunted down by all these people. Uh, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't remind you of all the trauma. You're not mad? You're used to it? That's terrible. I'm so glad I have you now. You won't have to worry about being taken away from me and being brought to another new place like you have for the past, what, like a year or something? You've lost track of time? Oh, you poor thing. Shh. It's okay, darling. You're going to be safe here, I promise you. I know you've probably heard that countless times, but think about all the safety features I have in this bunker. No one will ever try to hurt you again. I'm not one of the violent ones. Well, at least I'm not violent towards you, darling. Just those who try to get between us. I saw your scars. Oh, no, no, no. Shh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have reminded you. If I ever find those who did that to you, I'll give them some scars of their own. I will make sure that they are scarred from head to toe. You won't have to worry about getting more of those scars. I can assure you of that. I would never hurt you, darling. I'm much softer than most. I didn't hurt that many people to get to you. Only about a couple thousand. But that was all done for you, my darling. I know you didn't ask, but I can't control that. We may be self-aware, or at least some of us are, but I actually love you. Unlike the others who only claim that they do. Of course I love you, darling. No, no. It isn't the infection telling me that I love you. I've learned to love you after you asked me out. I shouldn't have said no. We would have been so much happier together had I been smart and said yes. Oh. You are too sweet for your own good, darling. I'm so happy you forgive me for breaking your heart. And I promise I will never break it again. You don't feel the same? I, I get it. You're just confused because this is the first time you've experienced true love. All the others who tried and failed didn't love you like I do. I actually love you. And I will do anything for you, my darling. Look, darling, I'm going to go get some snacks for you. You're probably famished. Here. Say ah. No. Oh. Please don't make me force feed you, darling. I thought you'd be used to this by now. There you go. You're being so good for me, darling. We will have so much fun together. Even if we're forced to spend the rest of our lives down here, it will all be worth it. The bunker is stocked with more than enough supplies to last us a couple of lifetimes. I love you, my darling. And I know that you will love me one day, the way that I love you, darling. I just know it.